Okay, so I'm getting ready to replace the end plate on this 8V71. The end plate is a, about a quarter inch thick piece of steel. It's got a couple little holes cut on it for a few different things. But basically it's the end of the block. And so you got to put a gasket all the way around it and that'll be the end to keep everything in. Uh, and you can see right down in the, into the oil pan. Um, the ventilation for the uh, crankcase vapors and stuff like that, the oil fumes and stuff like that that are coming up through here. You can kind of see these couple little steel wool pads that are sort of the main thing. And then it's just a couple of chambers once that plate is on there and then you can see the vent. So it's pretty straightforward. Uh, that plate will go on here and there'll be a gasket that runs all the way around the, the cams there and then all the way down to where it meets the oil. Uh, this is the adapter. On some engines it would be an oil pan that would go right there, but that's actually the adapter plate on these. Uh, but you can see it's pretty straightforward looking right in the end of the the 8V71. And the reason that plate's there is they can take two 8V71s and hook them together, the blocks, and then make a, a V16 out of them. Uh, you know, same thing with the 6s. You can put two 6s together, make a 12, and etc. So uh, it's kind of a neat idea, but it's a pain because every, well, both of the engines that I've had, the 71 series, have leaked from this gasket on the end plate. Uh, and it's really hard to get to. You definitely would want to probably, you could do it in bus, but it's a lot easier if you pull the cradle and you can attack it right there.